All right, so I'm just going to go over some questions that asked, um, that the assignment is asking for for this video. Uh, tell us what role you play in the intervention process with clients at your agency. Well, after we talked about like the re like rapport building process, engagement, and things like that, um, the intervention processes that I do and what intervention looks like with my clients is helping them come up with coping skills for for things that happen in the moment when they're in the moment with crisis and stuff like that. Um, and identifying those coping skills and effectively utilizing them. So a lot of times that can just look like, hey, you know, I noticed that you are kind of panicking in school right now. Do we need to go take a walk and get a drink of water? Like, do maybe get some temperature change, go outside, anything that can help them cope with their environment and their surroundings. And so that is kind of what the intervention process looks like um, with clients at my agency and what theories and models inform the intervention process. Well, um, when we were going through the different theories and models, the one that stood out to me right off the bat was the um, strengths perspective. And although I think my practicum does focus, like the agency I'm at focuses a lot on all of these perspectives, the strengths perspective is the one that we use in our job the most. Um, looking at a client's strengths, the system strengths, and the thing, and like the area that they're in, and like what strengths are those, and what do they look like, and applying those strength-based perspectives into their intervention is super important. So, um, for my practicum, um, for the next part of it, is looking like trying to get like certified in psychiatric rehabilitation, which means like preparing and studying for a really large exam and making sure they have the hours necessary for that and doing a lot more research um based things for the future because i'm going to try to like i'm going to continue my practicum at, at the agency um and then even approaching more of a therapeutic model with clients as well and so i was um and so when it when it talks about like that theory of strength based is that's the theory that we are supposed to be using according to the psychiatric association um the, the re pra the psychiatric rehabilitation association um we're avoiding medical model symptom based stuff and focusing more on recovery and empowerment for the individual and so that's why i say that we use predominantly that model and then the last question was how do you evaluate success with clients and how do you evaluate success for yourself? So work with clients, how I evaluate a success with them um, is I would just say that we do look a lot at like behavior um, and how has behavior changed over time and if it has improved or gotten worse and look for the underlying reasons for that because there's a lot of things that are outside of our control as well, like family situations that might be going on um, outside of school situations and things like that that can influence like client behavior and whether they're using their coping skills and how those are being managed um and so that's how i would say that we also do monthly reports and check in with the client that way to see like if they're hitting the goals you know that we set with them and their parents or if they are not hitting those goals um, and that would be how I would say that we evaluate success. And how do I evaluate success for myself at practicum? I would just say through supervision. Um, like if I feel like I haven't done, I didn't know how to approach like a situation or I didn't know how to address something with a client, I would just ask, um, my AFI or even some of our program managers about those approaches and how to change those in the future um, if they need to be changed or if you know they were successful and effective um, and I'm just constantly looking for ways to improve my practice so like for the the other day for an example I used a much more um I used a different approach than I usually do with my clients, and it worked out really well. They were a lot more receptive to speaking with me, and um, I gave them a minute before I just immediately jumped into, like, assessing behavior, and I think that gave them more time to, like, adjust 
with um and put them in more of a pre-contemplative state for change and i let them know that i was like hey you seem really upset right now i'm just gonna give you a minute and then you can just let me know how i can help you when you're ready you know to when you're feeling ready like you want to talk about it and that helped a lot just vocalizing um giving them a minute instead of just doing it anyways and then approaching it it like allowed the client the opportunity to come to me and see me as like someone who's there to help them instead of like because sometimes i think children especially can see us as not like we're going to help but in this situation it definitely seemed like we would be like that were they we are there to help and listen to them as well you know and not just like constantly be under like a babysitter or an assess like in that kind of way i think some of them feel like they're being babysat so yep that pretty much sums up where i'm at with practicum stuff so 